welcome back to part three. Don't know why my camera just cut on me like that. So yeah, apparently this video is a three-part video. Wanted to make it in two parts, but Perry, my camera decided and said, "Nope, you got it in three parts." Yeah, picking up again where we last left off on on our screecher disc. Yep. So gold ones get like a white little piece of rubber on it. Let's see where our screecher discs are. So we have three new designs, but unfortunately, all three screecher discs are plain leather screecher discs. Except for this one. This one kind of falls into a sub-special category. So what I'm talking about is, none of these screecher discs, if we compare, let's say, the blue one to the blue one, none of these screecher discs are awakening screecher discs that we get here. So like, here's what a normal screecher disc will look like. Let's see if we can get the camera to, uh... Zoom in and focus a little bit better. So yeah, this one's a normal screecher disc. This is what they call a awakened screecher disc. How can you tell the difference between a normal one and a awakened one? Say a little dot right down there that my thumb is on. That little dot right there is what makes it a awakened screecher disc. Versus a wider plain screecher disc. So a waking screecher disc allows a certain screecher to do certain special abilities and moves. And each one's kind of got a different thing. So like the blue one you think would be water, actually it's wind. The red one is obviously stands for fire element. Green is like an earth element. And um, the purple and the gold one, I don't know yet what those elements are. So for the sample of this, well let's take the example of J-Heart. J-Heart, blue card, you give it a blue awakening squishy disc and it's there to do a squishy move that sounds a wind vortex tornado attack. If you get the purple one to like let's say a uh, steam shift over here and it captures a awakening squishy disc, not only does it get transformed, but because of the power of its awakened screech disc being purple, imagine the purple car, it can allow any other screecher that's on its team to activate and transform without them actually needing to have a screecher disc, which is, you know, pretty cool and stuff. So, yeah. And just to show off the difference between the two golden ones, like, here is a standard golden one. It's kind of like a golden, translucent, orange, yellowish kind of color. I know it's not really that yellow, but kind of like, let's just say a copperish, orange, translucent color. Let's just go with that, or a bronze color. Something like that. This one, obviously, we can tell it's gold. It's kind of like got that gold chrome plating on it and stuff. Yeah, we definitely could tell that. On the bottoms of all screeches, they all got this like little web design going on there and stuff. Um, yeah. I really wish that this one would have been a waiting one, which would have made it really awesome and cool, but it's not. And the only downside is, I mean, this gold one, you can find dime a dozen, pretty much. This actual gold plated one, and it's not like 14, 10 carry gold plated, it's just, you know, like chrome dip gum plated type of thing. It's, you know, a chintzy thing. Anyway, this gold one you can only get with, you know, the uh, Squishers Wire Rapid Fire Disc Blaster, you know, gimmick set. That's the only way that you can get the shiny one. This one, yeah, pretty much a doesn't. Like I said, I wish that this one would have been a awakening one because this one's a little bit more rare that you have to actually buy this set to get this one. But, nope, that's just how they decided to play it up. So let's move these to the side here. Let's refocus our camera. There we go. So let's activate the screecher. Yeah, come on. Mm. Like I said, low one's a bit harder and it takes a bit more skill. There we go. There is Gold Bud. Which actually has its own special little golden coin now. So yeah, Gold Bud. In carf mode, 
or not Karmar, but uh, Creature Mode looks really dumb and stupid. I mean, look at this. It looks like I just got like little upwards battery and lamb antenna coming off the front, and the corridor is just way open into this forward design. That is really, really dumb and stupid. And then back here you kind of see, it kind of what reminds me of almost like a little cicada body. Almost back here. For its little forehead's abdomen, but yeah. Like I said, that is just really dumb and stupid. Um, I thought I've seen it somewhere on the box that there was a better version of it. You know what? I cannot find where it is. I just seen it too. The uh, better version of this one, but it actually looked more like a bud. Yeah. So, to put it back together into vehicle mode, slide that down, grab the two things for the doors, push them in like that. And actually, when you push back the little horn antenna, it actually goes in nice and smooth and looks really awesome. So in vehicle mode, it looks awesome. In creature mode, it's just dumb, stupid, retarded. I mean, it is it's garbage. So how do we use this set? Well, usually your screechers, like I said, that has this little, let's use the pearl one for example, that has the little rub on there. Usually you have them laying down and you move your car around. With this, you want to make sure that these little rubber pieces, when you put them in here, are facing up. Because the top side is smooth. So, pretty much it's going to be a mystery that you don't know. Is it going to be a waiting squeegee disc that you squeeze your car? Or not a waiting squeegee disc? So, you just drop them in there. Like that. Try to aim it and... <laughs> that was kind of amazing. I mean, it took the screecher to this, it activated, and then I was like, nope, I don't want that one. I mean, this, it doesn't even catch them. It just launches it into them just enough so that it can activate. It doesn't even hold the screecher to this. I mean, <laughs> last screecher to this. Let's move it a little bit farther away because. I think that it might have a little bit too much power. Okay, and that one didn't do anything. But you know what? I'm just going to block the back here so that the disc don't really get lost. So let's try blowing them in there and... Yeah, this is, actually takes more skill to launch the disc than it is to throw the car to catch the disc. I wish that back here they had some kind of little sight. I guess maybe you could use this as a sight to try lining it up. Let's see here. I'm going to actually try that. Nope. Like after what was it like 15 tries? Actually, I wasn't counting, but yeah. Oh, and to get the disc out, what's cool is when the disc go in here, as you can see, they actually land in there like that, but then they can't go forward until you actually push them. Now, to get them out, just turn it upside down and they come out easily. And finally, it's actually holding this. It was like purple disc, nope. Blue disc, nope. It was like, gold disc? Spark bud? Which, haha, <laughs> it's kind of funny because it's almost like the cross between Bumblebee because it's yellow, but because it has a gold disc and it's a spark bud, almost like when Bumblebee in the G1 era became gold bud. So it's kind of like a cross between Bumblebee's, you know, yellow color, yellow and black color scheme 
of the G1 era, but then it's also like when he got reborn and we created and became Go Bud, which you know, Spark Bud, Go Bud, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, that's kind of how I see this one as a G1 cross between the end of you know, Bombi and the rebirth of the remolded, renamed Gold Bud. So, yeah, Spark Bud is the new Bumblebee. Or, Gold Bud, depends on how you want to say it. You know, if you watch G1 and you're a big fan of G1 Transformers, you know what I mean with Bumblebee slash Gold Bud. Yeah. And, last but not least, here is our checklist. So we have, let's see if I can get the camera to focus again. There we go. J Heart, level 1. Weather Adapter, level 1. Steam Shift, level 1. Weather Cat, level 2. Rewector, level 2. Monkey Wands, level 2. Gate Creeper, level 2. Quad Shot, level 2. Night Weaver, level 1. Night Bite, level 1. Go Bar, different version, level 1. Uh, Spike tra Trap, level 2. Smokey, which I think it's a level 2, but they made it look like level 1 here. Pirate Sword level 2. Rebone level 2. Night Vision level 2. And then here's the other thing, the uh, Squeezer Speed Launcher. And you can tell there's two different versions of Go Bud here. This one and this one. <clears throat> so yeah. Let's kind of get everything that we get in here. Put on here and stuff. So yeah, this is everything that we get in here. The bots, the new side, back side of the stretching footlet, or disc launcher, free disc, a gold colored disc, 